gift card. You feel happy when you go to a garden, don't you? That's because the trees and fresh air relaxes us. Do you know, gardening too makes us happier and healthier. So much so, that it turned the rude little Mary into a cheerful girl. After her parents passed away, Mary Leno came to live with her uncle, Mr. Craven, at his Missilethwaite Manor. She was lonely, spoiled, and rude child. She disliked Martha, her uncle's servant, whereas Martha felt sorry for Mary. Martha often spoke to Mary about her family and her brother Dickon. One day, Martha showed Mary the way into Manus Gardens. After his wife had passed away, Mr. Craven had closed one of the gardens that had belonged to his wife and hid the key. Mr. Craven did not want anyone else to enter the garden. Mary wanted to see the garden, but no one knew where the key was. She had seen a robin sitting on the other side of the wall and wondered if it lived in a secret garden. One day, Mary saw the robin standing near the wall. There was something shiny in the earth. It was the key to the garden. As she felt along the wall for the door, the wind blew some of the plants near the wall to one side and Mary saw the door. She opened the door, entered inside the garden, and walked around with the robin who wanted to show her everything. The garden was surrounded by high walls. The plants were brown and looked dead because it was the end of winter. The trees had grown dense and decrepit. While walking around the garden, Mary noticed spring flowers growing above the earth. The garden was not dead. Every day, Mary came to the garden and cleaned every inch of it, keeping it all a secret from Martha. It was her secret garden. When Mary wanted some gardening tools, Martha asked her brother Dickon to help Mary with it. Dickon was a kind, friendly 12-year-old boy who could talk to birds and animals. Mary and Dickon became good friends. She showed him the garden and made him promise to keep it a secret. Dickon saw that the dead rose trees had little green parts on the inside. They could save them with some hard work. Mary and Dickon spent that spring working in the garden. By summer, everything was alive again. The garden and the smell of the fresh earth made her strong. Her unkindness and sorrows disappeared because of the beauty and serenity in the garden. <laughs>